says we had a question in today from Brian in Oxford. I bet he can hear a clicking from his tank and he's worried that it might be a mantis shrimp. Now, first of all, there's other things which can make clicking in the tank, such as large angels and clownfish. And you will usually see if you observe the tank, that if it's doing only a particular time of the day, or when the angels or clowns are doing particular behaviour, you can rule them out with the equation. Hermit crabs will sometimes walk along near the glass and their shell can tap along the glass as well. So if you have large like hermits, rule that out. When pistol shrimps click, they do a single click like that and then it takes quite a while for them to rearm and do another click. Whereas when a mantis shrimp clicks, it will be multiple clicks, often in, in short succession, like somebody typing on an old typewriter. If you do have a mantis shrimp in the tank, the first thing to do is probably panic a little bit. But actually most species of mantis shrimps only get to about an inch long and aren't really much of a threat to anything in the tank other than the odd small snail. Having said that, there are a few species that can become quite large, predatory, will hunt the fish and can even break aquariums if they're made of thin glass. So it's quite important that you ident try and identify the mantis shrimp if you can. Look into the tank under a red light at night and see if you can spot it. And if it is bigger than an inch or so, you might need to make some kind of ingenious trap to try and catch him. Mantis shrimps are extremely wary though, and they can be hard to remove in this way. If they're using a particular rock, you can try and remove the rock with the shrimp in it. If you are doing that, be careful of your fingers, because they are also known as thumb splitters for a reason. Make sure you check out our other videos on common pests in the reef aquarium.